Hey friends, welcome to the first edition of Jeff's 3 Minute Preview. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at who is replacing all-pro Wyatt Taylor's spot at right guard. From foreign exchange students to now starter of the Week 8 2022 Cleveland Browns offensive line, the journey of Yalta Froho just started outside of Spinberg, Denmark. He took football up at the age of 12, which is typical for North American culture, but not for his. He started playing football competitively in the United States during his sophomore year of high school as a foreign exchange student in Warren, Ohio. Fruho, who switched around from defensive line, offensive line, and special teams, kept growing through the years as an offensive lineman. Despite limited experience, his promise was not lost in colleges or recruiting services as he was ranked among the top 20 defensive linemen in the country. Fruho played in 10 games for, on defense for Arkansas in 2015, accounting for three tackles before moving to the other side of the line the following spring. He started all 13 games at left guard in 2016 and in all 12 games at that spot for a, as a junior not allowing a sack and incurring only two penalties against the top-tier talent in the SEC. Froholt started his senior season as center, starting his first three games before switching back to left guard for the Final Nine contest. At Arkansas, his final two years playing guard and center, he, he allowed only one sack in our first-team All-SEC in 2017 and second-team All-SEC in 2018 honors. Originally drafted by the New England Patriots in the fourth round of the 2019 NFL Draft, he was placed on the injured reserve during his first season with the Patriots due to a shoulder injury sustained during the preseason games. Then in November 2020, he was waived by the team. Froholt was then waived by the Texans on August 31st after signing to their practice squad. And then after that, he was brought to Cleveland to be put on the active roster from the Texans practice squad on October 5th. Ever since signing in Cleveland, he's bounced back and off the practice squad to the main team. He made appearances in 14 career games with New England in 2020, starting eight, and then in Cleveland in 2021 with six appearances. Scouts had multiple positive things to clamor about Yalta. His long torso and short legs provide lower center of gravity, and his strong core helps initiate contact balance when he's initiating defensive tackles. As the Browns return home to First Energy State on Monday night, they'll be battling an injury-riddled Cincinnati defensive front. Froholt and the rest of our offensive line will be facing an injured defensive tackle room also. DJ Reader was placed on IR at the end of September. His backup, Josh Tupo, is also dealing with a nagging injury, so the Bengals have to rely more on their depth at the tackle position. The dominant edge duo of Hendrickson and Hubbard will be separated as Hendrickson has not practiced this week after exiting Sunday's win over the Falcons early with a neck injury. Hubbard racked a sack in this victory, though. Thank you for tuning in with me for my three-minute spotlight. As always, go Browns. Hoo, hoo.